Hey everyone, today I will be continuing my diversity in young adult book series by talking about LGBTQ plus representation. I think, based on my personal experience, it's a lot easier to find books with LGBT characters than it is to find books written by and about people of color. I'm not sure why that is, because from what I can tell, I've only been alive for 19, almost 20 years, but from what I can tell, the acceptance of LGBT people is a relatively new idea. We just legalized same-sex marriage a few years ago, and I mean the whole HB2 thing is going on right now, but it seems, it seems very new, whereas racial tensions and racial diversity, that's always been around. I mean, there have always been LGBT people around, but I think it's easier for us to talk about racial diversity, so I just think it's kind of strange that there are more LGBT books than there are books that are racially diverse, and this is not a bad thing. Well, I guess it is a bad thing that there aren't a lot of books featuring people of color, but I love that there are so many books about LGBT characters because it's such a relevant thing right now. I think it's especially important that there's LGBT representation in young adult books because t the teenage years are when you start trying to kind of figure yourself out and that's when a lot of people realize that they're gay or something like that. And so it's really important that they can read these books and know that they're not alone and what they're going through is normal. I've read quite a few books featuring LGBT characters, but it seems to me that most of them, most of the ones I've read, um, the main characters were gay. Um, and it seems that most of the popular LGBT books do feature gay characters, and I haven't seen a lot of popular ones with asexual or bisexual or agender or transgender characters. And obviously that's a big problem because everyone deserves to be represented. So as before, I'm going to be talking about some books that I've read that feature LGBT characters and some books I'd like to read in the future that feature LGBT characters. And my main goal for this project is to expand my horizons and help other people expand their horizons as well. First one I'm going to recommend is Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. This, on the surface, is not an LGBT book, but it's about a race of gigantic grasshoppers who are starting to take over the world, and these two teenage boys are trying to figure out how to stop them, and one of these boys realizes that he may be in love with his best friend who is a boy, also. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe by Benjamin Alire Sainz, 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 I can't, I'm sorry. I read this one a few years ago in high school, and I don't remember much, but I think it's about these two boys who become friends when they're children, and then they grow up and their friendship becomes something more. And everyone on booktube loves this book, but if you haven't read it yet, you definitely should because it's beautiful, like I remember it was beautifully written and it was very engaging. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This is about a boy named Simon who is secretly gay and nobody at his school knows it except this other person he's been emailing anonymously. But one day he leaves his email open on the school computer and the person that comes after him sees these emails and threatens to blackmail Simon and tell the entire school he's gay, so that could be a problem for him. <laughs> Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is kind of a sequel to her book Fangirl, but it works completely as a standalone. Basically the main character of Fangirl um, loves this book series called Simon Snow, which is basically Harry Potter, and she writes fanfiction about it, and Carry On is the fanfiction that she has written. It's about this wizard named Simon and his archenemy Baz. It's pretty much a Harry Potter fanfiction in itself, with Simon being Harry and Baz being Draco Malfoy. It's mainly a fantasy set at this wizarding school, but without spoiling anything, there is an LGBT relationship in the book and it's lovely, it's so cute. Um, the whole book was really cute and it's like 500 pages but it's such a quick read, you won't even realize you're reading a 500 page book. The next book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky. I think everybody's read this by now but in case you haven't, 
you need to read it. It's about this boy named Charlie who is starting his freshman year of high school and he is he's very naive and he's just kind of learning everything about the world and it's lovely. It's lovely. It's very touching, quite sad at times, but it's definitely worth a read. One that I haven't read is Hero by Perry Moore. This is about a boy who decides to join a superhero team called The League and so he's out fighting crime all the time and also realizing that he's gay. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this, but it's been on my radar for a few years and I definitely need to check it out. The next book is Parrotfish by Ellen Whitlinger. This is about a girl who realizes that she's transgender and it's about her transition into becoming Grady. And it's about everyone around him trying to accept him for who he is. Another one is The Realm of Possibility by David Levithan. Pretty much any David Levithan book, I believe, features LGBT characters, but this follows 20 different people from a high school and some of them are straight, some of them are gay, some of them are bisexual, and it's written in verse, which is really interesting. I'm not a huge fan of books written in verse, but I'd like to check this one out sometime. The next one is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. This is about a girl who has just come out as gay to her parents and as a result they send her off to live with her very conservative aunt to try to kind of convert her to be straight, which is obviously an issue because that's impossible. And the last one is George by Alex Gino or Gino. Um, this is actually a middle grade book. It's about this boy named George who knows that he is not meant to be a boy, he's meant to be a girl. So you don't really read about transgender characters in middle grade books, but it's awesome that this was written because, I mean, people can start having... People can realize these things at a very young age and a lot of times they don't really know what's happening or they don't know if it's normal. And so books like this could help them. So those are my recommendations. If you have any recommendations or if you'd like to discuss this, uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. And again, I will read. I will leave um, Goodreads links to all of these books in the description. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye!